being able to work wireless with your tattoo machine may be one of your most key factors when searching a new tattoo machine but maybe you don't want to invest in a very expensive machine that has like a built-in battery or is able to work wireless or you just have a really nice machine that you want to keep using but you want to be able to use that wireless well in today's video i got a really cool battery cartridge grip for you guys it's made by mast we're gonna have a look at it review it and yeah let's have a look at it as you may well know i did a review on another battery grip like this and it had a couple of buttons on top and when i was using it i was pressing some buttons which obviously adjusted my voltage or turned off the battery grip uh, which was very inconvenient for me i found a really cool uh, battery grip by dragonhawk which has one button only on the back and that's the one that we're going to be reviewing today we got the mast dragonhawk battery grip so let's quickly dive down and have a look what's inside this box so we got the box right here let's open it up some protection user manual the battery grip we got this little box right here inside this box you have the cable the charging cable and three plunger bars or push bars whatever you want to call it they're in different sizes because you will need a different size for some other machines it depends a little bit on your machine obviously now one end of the cable is magnetic it clicks on like so and you have a rca plug that can plug into your machine now there are adapters i've used that in a previous video where you can put a clip cord adapter on and you can use it on a machine that has a clip cord connection we're just going to use the rca for this video right here you can see it only has one button on the back if you press that it turns on and it is at six volts if you press it again it's going to go to seven eight nine eleven okay if you wait a little bit you can see that all lights are going to turn on that's your battery life so now the battery is at 100 percent and it's going to pulse like that now obviously if your battery is running lower it's going to go to 80 60 40 20 percent but it's kind of obvious if you press it again it'll show the voltage and if you press it one more time it's going to increase the voltage if you hold it or long press it it'll shut off now if this thing if you turn this one on it'll automatically start your machine as well also see it's a 1400 ma battery so of course it depends on how much voltage you use it'll probably give you a, a runtime of about anywhere to three to five hours maybe four to six depending on how you set your voltage you can adjust your needle depth by doing so now as you can hear this is not a clicking battery it's just a sliding kind of motion now it's stiff enough where you don't really have to worry if your machine is hanging on to this where it's going to adjust also this is pretty long if it was really short it might have pulled it more like towards your machine but that's for sure not going to happen with this cable so let's quickly actually hook it up to a machine and see what that does so how do you assemble this grip onto your machine right here we got the raven i thought it would be cool to also use a dragon hog machine to show off the Dragonhawk grip. They essentially send me a machine um, to actually use in this video, uh, but the things weren't really compatible, but I will get to that just a little bit later in the video. Now what you do is you can slide your grip in like so, and you can tighten it. Now in this case, I will have the, bot the button a little bit off to the side and the cable as well i can plug in the cable in the bottom i'll just move it out of the way so it's not going to be in the way now you can of course wrap your grip what i like is they used a fairly big grip for this uh for this cartridge grip because i remember with the old or with the other battery grip that i used they had a display here and then had a super small grip i am usually a bigger fan of like the longer 
grips or the bigger part that adjusts because it works nicer with the grip tape that I use. Now you have to find the right plunger bar or the right push bar. I will always hold it up to the side and kind of see like which one would actually work. I think this may be the longest one. Let me double check. This one is a little bit longer. So I'm just going to start off with using the middle one. Although by the looks of it, I might want to use the longer one. Nah, we'll just see. And there. So like so. Now you can also adjust your grip in here if needed. And you will need a cartridge. So I got one I use for practice purposes only. I'll stick it in here. And you can see my needle is sticking out pretty far. So of course I can then adjust here. Now if it's a lot of adjustment you need to make, you can opt for using a smaller push bar or you can adjust by bringing your grip a little bit more forward as well and you can kind of find like what's the right balance for you let's quickly put her on as you can see we now have this machine running wireless and with a cartridge running pretty fast that is one thing that I don't really like you cannot really go back once you press it it'll just go forward so now it's at 7 volts now if I want to go down in voltage I have to go through the whole cycle which is one little down part other than that I think it's actually pretty nice now, I absolutely love having a battery grip like this that you can use on almost all of your rotary machines. You could potentially use it on a coil if you know how to tune it so it can work uh, with a cartridge or to balance out the counterweight of your cartridge. Now, if you don't know how to do that, if you want me to make a video about how to do it, make sure you let me know in the comments. And that goes as well for um, rotary tattoo machines that have a spring so for example like a sidewinder or the uh, Deiki irons machine that I reviewed on this page as well um, they usually don't deal very well with cartridges now there are ways to counter balance the spring or the tension that comes on the cartridge now it's not an ideal situation but you could balance that out so if you want to see a video on that make sure you let me know in the comments uh, but on any other rotary machine um, that you can use with regular needles as well this will be absolute game changer and it'll have you work wireless with any kind of rotary tattoo machine but there is one thing that you should know before you jump in and buy a wireless battery grip and that's if you use a rotary machine that has a fixed uh, plunger bar. So it's a cartridge machine that comes with a grip, for example, like the Cheyenne uh, Injecta or the Dragonhawk Flash, for example. Those are machines that have a fixed bar. I'll show you in just a minute. So it's machines like this that have a grip that you can screw off. And it has this kind of bar sticking out of the machine. Now Dragonhawk initially sent me this machine to pair up with the wireless battery grip, but there's one slight problem. And this is something you need to consider if you have this machine or if you wanna uh, use it on your Cheyenne Thunder or Spirit or Injecta or any other machine like this. I think you have a Spectra Halo as well is if you put the battery grip on that pusher bar does not get far enough so when you plug in your cartridge it doesn't really push the cartridge I don't know if you can see it but it's not pushing the needle out of the cartridge tube 
and that would be a bummer if you have like an amazing machine and you want to pair that up to work wireless and then it doesn't work the way you want it to work uh, I was a little bit surprised I think the people at Dragonhawk were a bit surprised as well when I told them about it because yeah this is a very unfortunate thing now I've tried and see if I could replace like the pusher bar that's on there but it's not very easy to replace so I didn't want to ruin anything on a machine by making an effort to make it work but yeah that's something you need to consider uh, check the dimensions and check how much distance you have basically from your from the end of your vise and if it would be able to push through the tube of that grip to push your needle out far enough in this case it didn't which is kind of a bummer but you know it happens i will still have a really cool machine that i can review for you guys so that will probably be happening in the next video but all in all if you have a rotary tattoo machine that can work with regular needles or with cartridge needles um, with just like a, a normal nipple where you can put your needle on or your pusher bar this will absolutely be a game changer and will have the ability to make you work wireless. Uh, now, of course, I will link the product in the description down below so you can have a look at it and order it if you want. I will also have a discount code for you guys so you have a 10% discount when you purchase these. Uh, I would recommend, and not to be uh, like a salesman, I would recommend buying two of these because you might have multiple machines that you want to use because you might have a liner or a shader style rotary machine um, and it would be nice to have two of these also if you do use just one machine if the battery runs out you can just put it on charge and use the next one so what i really like about this cartridge grip is that it actually has just one button to control the whole grip width I mentioned that on the other grip that I had, it had three buttons just here on the top and a little display and that would just get in the way with my fingers. Now, if they want to make a, like a better version of this, I would recommend to maybe have three buttons here and maybe some kind of small display just in the top here where you can see your voltage. Like not nothing big, just really small, uh, just here on the, on the rim and maybe even have the adjustments here or on the back but now you can basically not fine tune your uh, machine it just has 6 volts, 5 volts, 8 volts, 9 volts and 11 there's no half steps uh, and I know some people are really picky on the voltage and they're like oh yeah but I want to use 5.3 or I want to use 4 which is also not possible on this one uh, so that's something you also have to keep in mind when you get this grip you cannot really fine tune and it just goes in full step full steps on uh, on adjustments as well if you haven't seen the review on the other battery grip that i did i will also link that in the description down below now if you want me to compare both of these two cartridge grips with each other also let me know in the comments because i'm always looking to find out what you guys actually want to see uh, so i can make that content for you other than that, I wish you all a wonderful day and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.